Welcome to the Real Facts on Real Estate podcast, presented by Sean Patrick Moloney. In this series, we educate real estate agents on how to find success in the industry and grow their wealth to six-figure commissions and beyond. Now here is your host, Sean Moloney. Welcome to episode 232, Why Do I Love Selling? I'm your host, Sean Patrick Maloney. Thanks for joining me this week. This week, I'm going to talk to you about the ins and outs of selling, all the different places in life we run into it, and why it's so crucial that you know how to sell. I'm also going to go over the fact that lots of people do not believe they're salespeople, only to realize everybody is selling at all times. Guys, this is a super important episode, right? You're all salespeople. Why do I love selling? I love selling because I always study and I'm good at it. I've sold my entire life. I've constantly had to peddle some sort of product, and I've learned to hone my skills, which actually makes me feel really safe in any economy. Up, down, left, or right, I know I will always have a job selling something for somebody. Why? Because I'm passionate about it. I really want you guys to get as passionate as me and to really grow your art of selling. I can tell you, obviously, are passionate. You're here listening to the episodes. You're dedicating your time to learning, and you're expanding your knowledge so that you can sell better. Remember, selling is something we all need to learn to do to complete the process of every day. It could be something as simple as, say, you have children. You need your kids to get dressed by a certain time. In order for you to get to work, you got to get out the door. So what do you need to sell them on? Good behavior. You need them to do the things you need them to do in the time you need them to do it. As a salesperson, you have learned to negotiate. Hey, if you're good, I'll bring you swimming later. All these different negotiations that we make in order to sell our children on doing what we'd like them to do. So understanding that the selling is always going on in order to find success in your life. That's the funny part, right? Lots of people come into a sales job and they go, oh, I'm not really a salesperson. It's not that you're not a salesperson, it's that you're nervous in the transaction. So one of the things you really want to do is get it to a point where not only do you understand the subject, but where someone could wake you up in your sleep and you could recite everything you need to know about the process. That's what gives you stone cold confidence in selling. That's why I run a podcast. That's why I study all the time. That's why I listen to audiobooks because I want to know everything I can. And when someone asks me a question that I don't know, do you know what I do with that? I bring that home and I study that. Why? Because they show me a weak spot in my sales pitch. So that way there I can fine tune my machine. So the next time it comes up, I can then confront that type of objection and I can move forward in a good manner where the client's happy and everything goes smoothly. Remember, selling is the art of getting someone to purchase something from you. But that said, it's not swindling. We're not looking to sell someone something for gross profit just to rip them off. We're selling something under the true belief that we are aligning them with something that if they didn't have that or they had a lesser product, that they wouldn't be in the same position in life that they will be. That there's so much value there that it would be wrong for you to not try to get them to buy your product because they'd be missing out. They'd be missing out on some sort of deal, something that may make them better more successful, whatever it is that they're looking to fulfill, your product fulfills their needs and you as a salesperson need to probably explain how that does what they're asking for and why the value is so good that they would be a fool not to buy it. Once you have that down pat, once you have that much passion, once you have a product that's that good, you know that selling, it's really not that bad, right? It's its actually a fun thing because if you have a product so good that you're like, okay, well, this makes people lose tons of weight and it does it right away. Why would I not want to introduce that to the market? If I have a food that's so good, you're going to taste it, you're going to crave it all day, every day, I should bring it to market. If I have a service that's going to help you sell real estate and you're going to sell for the most amount of money possible and you're going to get the most exposure, why should I feel bad pushing you to sign a contract with me? You're already going to eat that food. You're already going to sell that home. So why not align the person with the best person possible. So once you're passionate, once you have that full understanding, that's where you can really grow your sales and people will start spreading the word about you because they will feel the energy that you're putting into their sale. There's nothing worse than meeting a person that's supposed to sell something that doesn't care about the product. We've all gone to a store, maybe a mattress store, maybe a car dealership, maybe a real estate brokerage where somebody tries to sell us something that they don't care about. And we can tell, and it's such an off-putting energy, that the transaction doesn't happen there, but shortly thereafter, maybe another car dealership, maybe another food, maybe a different realtor, 
but we end up buying, which tells us that we didn't buy because that salesperson was not passionate and they didn't care about what's going on. Sales are always happening in life. It's about figuring out how to make the transaction happen in your behalf. One of the most important sales that you'll ever have in your life is selling yourself, whether it be to friends, to employment, to meeting that husband or wife, to anything to do with family, friends, and relationships. One of the biggest payouts in being a salesperson is being paid out in love. Guys, the more you learn to sell yourself, the more you learn to care about everything you do, to care about your product, sometimes that product is you. Are you giving your best self? Are you giving other people the attention they deserve? Are you doing that to your highest level? If not, I challenge you guys to take that on this week and to really push yourself even harder. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of the podcast. I hope it helps you grow as a salesperson. Also, please make sure to tell all your friends that are in real estate or in any sales to check out this great episode and also subscribe. Thanks again and have a great week.